What's up, fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's your weekly reading. Wow, okay. Fucking bastard. I hope everybody had a good week. If you want a personal reading, that's linked in the description below. And I'm just gonna jump right into it. All right, let's see. Madonna fucking Mia. Okay. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. That's inconsistency. Page of Wands in reverse. In action. <laughs> because you're distracted, too impulsive, maybe, uh, too immature. Um, focusing on the wrong shit. The Two of Cups is a relationship. So. Y'all could be involved with somebody who is portraying these sort of, like, you guys could be in a situation ship where you're dealing with somebody who is inconsistent and immature. And, like, they don't do shit for you. Or you just don't do shit for yourself. Oh, Madonna fucking Mia. <laughs> You're either stuck between two people. Like, this is very specific. You have the two of swords, right? You're either stuck trying to choose between two, two people. Two different personalities completely different because you have the king of pentacles here which is like <laughs> somebody who's established and grounded and has uh made it for themselves right but here's the thing it could be that it could be two separate people who are completely different from one another one is like maybe spontaneous and fun but in a reckless immature inconsistent way and that may be exciting for some of the fire signs that i'm talking to um and then the other one may just have their shit together and maybe more grounded and maybe that's boring for for you for the fire signs i'm talking to right this isn't gonna resonate with every fire sign for sure it's not because this is a very specific message <sighs> but I'm, I'm getting very clearly that y'all are accepting a little bit less than what you fucking deserve with the Empress here in reverse. Um, you're not realizing your own worth. So if you're not stuck between two different entities, two different people who are embodying this sort of energy, then... You have one person who may have their shit together on paper, right? But emotionally um, or w the way they show up for you in the relationship is completely different. Which is f very, like, real, right? You have these, like, finance bros, let's say, who make fucking ridiculous money. But they're all out there, you know, like, doing cocaine and fucking prostitutes and like not settling down and not being consistent with relationships you know what i mean but they have that money and that practicality they can buy their own house and like live on their own and be good 
So you could be dealing with somebody like that. I'm not saying like specifically a finance bro, but like somebody who has made it for themselves monetarily on paper, but the way that they may show up for you in your relationship is a little reckless, a little very inconsistent, very immature. But you haven't given up on this person. Even though, five of cups, even though you're in this place of emotional disappointment. Maybe you're constantly being emotionally disappointed right now. Fire signs. There's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel here, like with the five of cups. I just don't know if it's with this specific person. Hanged man. That is your ability to surrender and see this, see the bigger picture, see this from a, um, uh, a higher perspective. Three of Wands is your future. I don't know if some of you have like recently made the decision to leave, but you still haven't left yet. You could be in that like place of like, all right, mentally, I know I gotta fucking get the fuck out of here. Or maybe you're just waiting around for the situation to change or you're waiting around for somebody to come like save you or something like that. <laughs> oh my god, Seven of Swords. Three of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse. Y'all are like being emotionally manipulated in, 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 in a, like, there is a relationship where you are being emotionally manipulated. <laughs> Heavily. And lied to. <laughs> like somebody has either cheated or they are cheating. Like if... Here's what I want to say to the fire signs that I may be talking to. And again, this might be like 0.001% of the people who are going to be watching this. And I apologize if that's the case. Make this make sense for you, right? But uh, if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck and walks like a duck, it's a fucking duck. Like, you know what I mean? If somebody's not being consistent in the relationship or they're not like showing you off and they're being really reckless and they tend to be really fucking immature like they're probably cheating they're probably doing things with other people they're not committed they're not like and maybe some of you guys need to just hear it like don't be a fucking idiot what are you doing <laughs> You guys are like choosing less than what you deserve. You know what I mean? And uh, and you're wondering why like things aren't working out. Maybe this is just a theme. If you guys aren't like specifically really going through this with a specific person, this could just be a theme, an overall theme in your life. Like you guys are choosing relationships that do not serve you whatsoever. And I think there could be a piece of you guys that do this, the people that I'm talking to, because you like that thrill, or you like the chaos and the trauma and whatever, right? 
because maybe there's a piece of you that doesn't want to really fully commit so like if you know subconsciously that you're going to pick somebody that's going to be a dipshit to you then you never have to be vulnerable and you never have to commit fully you never have to fully give yourself to a person right so some of you guys are like purposely doing that not like purposely in the sense of like you're deliberately going out and being like i'm gonna pick somebody who's gonna fucking really fuck with me work through your fears again there could be a fear of vulnerability and commitment and that's why maybe these sorts of relationships keep showing up in your life you and your loved ones are safe specifically again you don't let pride get in your way at the bottom of the deck that's that leo energy i think let's see yeah full moon and leo don't let pride get in your way yeah i think i think again there's a lack of like a, there's a lot of ego around this right so there's a lack of like vulnerability and um if you can't be vulnerable with yourself or real with yourself then how can you expect somebody to fucking come into your life and be real with you you know what i mean so just keep that in mind i don't know i don't know <laughs> Who the fuck am I, right? Uh, anyway, I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, peace the fuck out.